So if you're looking for a place to stay on the interstate, you might consider staying at a truck stop like Flying J's. Well, I'm gonna run down the pros and the cons for you in today's Squatch Dog Adventure. Stick around. So you can always gas up at a truck stop, which is always handy. You can weigh your rig at one of their certified scales. You can fill your def if you need to. Truck stops always have good food and coffee and snacks and trinkets and windshield wipers, everything you need for your vehicle. That makes the truck stop really nice and handy. I might buy one of these stickers. If you need to take a shower, most truck stops have places where you can take a shower and get your laundry done. You can dump your RV waste if you need to. And sometimes you can even do a fill for your water, but this unfortunately is not potable water at this particular truck stop. Sometimes you can get a refill on your propane if you need it. Now for the bad part. With the trucks coming and going, it can get noisy at night. you park in the right spot. We tried parking over there where that Flying J truck is and we got a knock on the door in the middle of the night. Turns out we were supposed to park over here, but there's trucks that were taking our spaces. So we couldn't do that. It probably would have been a little bit quieter if we were able to park over here. So we took a trucker spot and truckers took our spot. Sounds like fair play to me. So as you can see, there are definitely some pros and cons to stay in at a truck stop, but it is an option for some free parking if you're out on the road and wanting to get somewhere without having to find a boondocking site or pay for a campground. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to us, but in the meantime, Happy trails.